On the 11th of January, 2024, a police officer of the HCPD is forced to pull over a man and a woman driving in the middle of the hurricane Utah when the male driver cuts off the officer near an intersection and almost causes an accident. The officer has to chase the couple down for a few minutes before the finally pull over. The man driving was later identified as Connor White and the woman his partner. What happens next will shock you. Hi, how's it going, bud? I'm doing all right, officer tourist with Turkin City. Hey, the reason I stopped you, you pulled out from there. Um, I had to slam down. I had to go all the way down to about 30 miles an hour um, so I wouldn't hit you. Did you not see me coming? I see you. Okay. What's that? I gave leeway. You gave leeway? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me see your license. Do you have any other guns in the car? No, sir. Just that fire. I'm right there. Okay. The officer approaches the vehicle to inform the driver why he was being stopped, and he meets the two in the car. The male driver claims to have given the officer a pass when he is informed of his mistake. The officer spots a gun in the car. How much marijuana is in the car? Are you sure? Okay. Why, is, why am I smelling marijuana coming from the car then? What's that? Turn off the car for me, bud. Control 4 kilo 2 can it's on here. Keep your, keep your hands on the steering wheel for me. What's that? I know. I'm asking you just to keep your hands on the steering wheel for me. What's that? Get insurance for you. I'm asking for you to put your hands on the steering wheel for me, okay? What's that? Thank you. Ma'am, do you have any weapons on you? No? Okay. Do me a favor, just keep, what's that? All right, just keep your hands on the dashboard for me. Is that for you, boss? What's that? Is that for you? Just hold it. I'll do it with that issue in a second, all right? Okay. Do me a favor, ma'am. With your left hand, go ahead and unbuckle your seatbelt. Go ahead and sit out. Don't reach for anything, ma'am. Right here. Stand right here for me. Okay. Face the other way. You don't have any weapons? Mind just lifting up your waistband for me? Okay, go ahead and turn around. Okay, take a seat for me right there. You have any other weapons? Nope. Just that one? Yep. All right, with your left hand, your left hand only, you might just Take your sheep off and step it out for me. Come over here. You're telling me there's no marijuana in the car? Nope. Okay. Take a seat right there. When the officer smells a familiar problematic scent coming from the car, and since there does not seem to be a prescription, what was intended as a traffic violation stop might become a lot more. At this point, the officer calls for backup while he goes on to search the couple in the car for any contrabands. Away from the vehicle. If you're going to be like that, dude, I'm just going to put you in handcuffs, okay? You're not going to put me in handcuffs, dude. Excuse me? Hey, uh, excuse you! Home, it's fucking freezing, homeboy. You got my girlfriend on the fucking curb. You're saying I cut you off. I know I did not cut you off. Because you're between my stop sign and the whatever fucking gym is stop sign. When pulling in, you definitely had enough room because you had to come right up on my fucking ass to stop me. And on top of that, now you're saying, oh, this and oh, fucking that. I fucking hate you, pigs. I fucking hate you. Fucking Christ. Don't fucking point me, homeboy. Come over here for me. No. Alright, go ahead and put your hands behind your back. You ain't fucking touching me, dude. I'll tell you that straight the fuck right. up. You're gonna pull your fucking taser off me. I'm gonna, ta I'm gonna ask you to put your hands behind your back, okay? You're taser me. Where's I'm gonna ask you to put your hands behind your, your back. Where's your fucking soldier at? Here's that. Okay. My hands behind my Face back. Face the other oh, way. 
me. Sergeant. The officer does not get very far before the male gets problematic. He refuses to sit or step away from the vehicle and goes into a rant about being stopped when he has not done anything wrong. The officer calmly tells him he might get arrested, but when he switches to verbally abusing the cops, he takes it too far. Get up right now. Turn around, put your hands on top of your Turn around, put your hands on top of your head. Call your fucking sergeant. Turn around. Homeboy, call your fucking around. Sergeant. Spread your legs. No. Now. You call your fucking sergeant. Oh my fucking That's it, you guys can get fucking seat. You're you fucking go, homeboy. Step on my fucking back or anything, I'm gonna fucking beat your ass. I'm fixing Hold my fucking neck. Still. You fix it for me then, homeboy. Move your head to the side. Move my fucking head, homeboy. Move your head Put to the, the side. There's that. Put my Now you fucking go. Couldn't fucking do that, could you? Fucking pigs. I don't fit. Put two cuffs, please. Yeah, they're And then after you do this, call your fucking sergeant up for me. Two cuffs. Kiss. Relax. Two fucking cuffs, homeboy. I'm fucking pissed right now. Two cuffs. Put your hands. Keep on tying those fucking handcuffs. It ain't gonna do a fucking shot. Just hold my fucking Let me cuffs. see your hands. Homeboy, call your fucking sergeant. Call your fucking sergeant. You move your hands I right now. I know my mother fucking right. Move my dad your was hands. under arrest, arrest all right, buddy? You. Yeah, you're under arrest. Uh -huh. Hey, it's alright. I'll see you in court. Because you're not fucking violating a citizen's right? Huh? What's your fucking badge number, Torres? What's your fucking badge number, Torres? What's your motherfucking badge number, Torres? Torres, which one? What's your badge number, though? I'm not moving. What's your badge number? Push me again. Motherfucker, you're tiny. What's your hey, badge number? You're really under arrest in each place. Badge number, dude. Is there another unit close by? I'll bust your fing window out right here. Don't fing go. Just Holy wait, just wait. Just Dude, wait. you need to. Hey, what's the fing cops right? Just wait. The escalator, fing seat. Just wait. Just wait. What the fing bust my fing lip? Hey, do me a Stop. Tell us how to fing get his hand off my jaw right now. Backup shows up in no time, and the man is quickly put in handcuffs. Unfortunately for him, he does not stop talking, and it only makes the situation worse for him. The officers are focused on their task of cuffing him and transporting him to the police vehicle without any surprises. Okay, is this a mari marijuana vape or is it a vape? How old are you? 20. 20, so you can't even have this? <clears throat> Everything's so new, where are you guys coming from? You don't want to talk to me? What's that? Okay, that's fine. I can do I can smell it right here. Like I can, I can I smell it. Yeah, I can smell it, yeah. I like, I can you smell have anything it. else on you? Here, come over here. Just come over here for me. Put your hands right here. So you want to just light me up? Here, yeah. I got you. Widen your stance for me. While searching the female, the officer finds a bag of marijuana in her possession, among other things. But unlike her partner, she is calm and does as the officer tells her. In the end, the female is given a citation for her possession of marijuana, paraphernalia, and tobacco. The man is also charged with resisting arrest and for possession of marijuana and the handgun. But compared to the next coup, this couple can be considered very chill. Watch our next two culprits getting caught having fun in public. On August 16, 2022, four underaged females witnessed a couple engaging in sexual activity on an amusement park ride. The girls, disturbed by what they saw, reported the incident to the security at the park and even put a call through to the local law enforcement agency. Right here. So, 
was over in the back of the movie's at. Yeah. Claiming that these two were engaging in sex in a car. They were banging? Yeah. Uh, right on. Yeah, right around the corner over there. They're, all four of them are sitting over there. How young are they? Two of them are 18, one's 17, the other one's 16, I think. Okay. Um, saying that had his pants down and his Did they from behind. Yeah. Could they see it? They witnessed it. They were, they were, what did they say when you talked to them, these people? They're saying nothing happened. What the ride operator said? They just said that they... They got it reported to them, they got a call, and they called us. Did they see it? The officers arrive at the scene to find park security talking to the two culprits. The smell of alcohol coming from them is evidence that they have been up to something. Were you guys banging on that ride? No, they were. No, honey, I listen, so my cigarettes, I have shorts on okay. beneath my dress, first off. Right. So there is no easy access that's happening here. And I have them in my pocket, in the shorts. They fell out. I bent over to retrieve them on the right. Why was he behind you then? He was trying to help me because they were clear across the right. Okay. You want me to answer that? No, probably not, I guess, because you're going to answer like... Of course, the couple doesn't admit to any funny behavior when interrogated by the officer. The story they spin is a complete opposite of the report that came from the girls. So, what did I say? Like, okay. Like, she was on her hands and knees. Her pants were off. He was on his knees doing it back and forth. And we could feel the arms hard and our heart was shaking. shaking. There were two of us looking one way and two of us the other way. Like, yeah, and when we look back, like, he was there. Her and butt was here, butt naked. You saw her butt? Oh, yes. yes. We saw her butt. You saw her butt. Like, her ass yes. and her ass Did you see uh, his wiener? I it was in it. It was in it. But I looked at it. You saw yeah. his wiener in her? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Absolutely not. And Absolutely the, um, not. They also did it the second time. The second yeah, time, they could feel it. We could feel it. Because they, like, got dressed. Exactly is telling the truth here. The cop goes over to question the girls and gets a detailed breakdown of what they saw. Looks like the couple got a kick out of knowing they were being watched, but by underaged girls. What do you want me to do? You want me to arrest them? Or do you want me to. Or you just want to kick them out? Public indecency. Or indecency and exposed. Yeah, well, public indecency. It's like So, how how long did you guys ride this ride? Four, four minutes, maybe. How many?
many times did you guys go around? Not a lot. Did you go around? Yeah. Maybe three. Okay. So, why can those girls, the two of them are juveniles, describe to me your guys' private parts? That's our part. Describe them? Yeah. I mean, I have shorts on, like I told you. Before. I don't, I understand. But, so listen, this is what I'm going to do for you, okay? You understand that there's cameras and I can watch those cameras and see. So just tell me the truth. Because I know you're lying. So just be honest. Because lying's not going to get you anywhere. Really? I'm about to lose. Yeah, That's you're, bullshit right there. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You're lying, 100%. I'm lying? I don't... So, you, so four four juvenile girls that's are just going to make that up. That's the, like, they're the fucking little juvenile girls. Like, two of them are, are, two, 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 two of them are 18 and two of them are juvenile. So when I watch those cameras, I'm not going to see you guys. You're lying. She wants to tell the truth. Do you understand that you can be arrested for this? It's a, it's a, it's an N2. A, yeah, a misdemeanor of the second degree. And you guys can go to jail. Because you're not from here. And then you'll have to post bond. Or I can call the judge in no bond since you guys are lying. And I know you're lying. It's up to you guys. I'll let you guys talk about it. Having gotten enough from the witness reports, the officer can only proceed if the park or witnesses decide that they want to charge the culprits for their actions. Public indecency of any sort is a punishable crime, and these two are about to see the consequences of their actions. And of course, they can't lie their way out of this one. So, you're sick into your story of the cigarettes? Yes. I mean, she may have shaken her butt in front of me a little bit, but what the hell is wrong with that? Okay, so now the story's changing. Huh? Now your story's changing. That's not changing. That's not really what's changing. So, I mean, she's probably not taking life. So what? Like, 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 can't, like, shake her ass or She is? Well, yeah, but... You guys have kids? No. Okay. So, you, I want you to picture when you have kids, and your 15-year-old comes yeah, here, I mean, I and she sees two grown-ups having sex. I mean, that's all right. And she, they, they saw... They saw... What they said to me, what they saw? I would be embarrassed. Wait, who the fuck? They're, who hasn't seen it that they're eight? You know what I'm saying? Don't look at me like that. So you think it's appropriate that they saw? No, see, that's not appropriate. That they, they saw? That these motherfucking kids these days, you can't fucking, I don't fucking know what the hell they're going to pay to anybody. So you think it's appropriate that they saw you? I don't, saw me what? Put it, put it to your wife on the Ferris wheel? Are you serious? <laughs> yes. No, did I say that? Did I say that? You said, Are you well, trying to take words out of my mouth? No, no, you're not going to do that to me. You said they see what, they've seen all this stuff. No, I'm not trying to do nothing to you. You said, well, they know, they things. know, they see this. I'm not trying to do nothing to you. I'm okay. not trying to do nothing to you. Well, no, it did not happen. They're calling their, they're to what? I don't know what they're trying to say, but nothing like that. Yeah. You're gonna go to jail. So what? Public indecency. You can't have sex on a ride. I gave you the opportunity to tell the truth. You didn't want to. So all no, I don't have to show you video footage. So all I have So I don't have to show it to you. No, I don't. No, I don't. Don't tell me how to do my job. Don't even Yeah. I'm not did I don't listen. Are you, so you're telling me I did something I did, and then you're going to take me to jail? I have four witnesses. Despite getting called out, the two stick to their own story. With no evident remorse for their actions, the officer determines she wouldn't be getting the truth out of them. I think that since you guys don't even have any remorse for what you did to those children and how upset they are, like, that, that, that's what bothers me. And now you're lying to me. You, you don't even care what you did to those children. But either way, they're, but they're upset, and you guys are trying to deny that you did it. Like, well, I do apologize that they were upset. Yeah, why wouldn't they be? Why wouldn't they be upset? Like, and then you guys are sitting here lying. Like, I understand the concern. 
Right. And like, why does the one saying you called her a whore? Nobody called anybody a whore. Well, you want me? To, well, you lied to me this whole time. No. She's saying you called her a whore. Nobody. Called, we never spoke directly to this person. She said that you guys were touching her on the line and said that you called her a whore. I have two friends that were with us in line that they may have overheard the word for being thrown around loosely, but it was not directed towards them. Do you see where I'm coming from, though? I do. I understand. Like, it, it, it would probably oh, be a different story if you guys would have been like, yeah, we messed up, you know, because really this is Cedar Point, and it's up to me if charges are done or not, and I work for the city. So, had you been like, we didn't mean for people to see us, like we've been drinking, you know, but you sat here and blatantly lied to my face and I have these juveniles that are traumatized. Once it's clear that they are going to jail, the couple give up on the lying. They are a long way from home now, and what could have easily ended with them telling the truth and getting away with a slap on the wrist will have them in jail for lying. The witnesses decide to press charges to prevent the incident from happening again, and the couple end up going to jail for their actions. From indecent behavior in a public park to physical abuse, our next offenders have to be reminded that actions have consequences. On January 23, 2024, officers were called to the scene of an incident where a customer was said to have struck an employee of a smoke shop in the face. Were you in that game? No. Oh, you were? Yes. Okay. What happened? Uh, they came in, they bought some stuff, they were super drunk, you know, they brought their drinks inside and the guy was being kind of a douche and she kept kind of calming him down and then he made a comment about her weight. I tried to get them out of here and he said, you want me to get f***ing smacked? And then punched me in the side of the head. I was right here, so he kind of knocked me into here and then he punched me in the back of the head again. Okay, do you want to press charges or? Yeah, definitely. There's a guy outside that works out for HTA. And he was like, I took a picture of them, and I was like, can you text it to me? Yeah, that's both of them. Mm-hmm. Where's that up my phone right now? You can take my phone out there if you want. Oh, I could text it to your phone? Can we text it to you? Let me go grab it real quick. I just okay. parked right, right outside. Yeah. I'm going to take about three minutes, and I'll have the yeah. Okay. Voice. She told me her name's I don't know if that means anything, but it's worth writing. Did I say the state or no? Iowa. They're from Iowa? They're from Iowa. Her name's Nothing on him. Um, there's, they might be staying in Casa Marina, but I don't know. I don't know if that's totally true. Okay, I'm good. we're gonna go look for him. All right. I think I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, do you want to see the video, or you want to just forward it? And then this is gonna be when they. The officer arrives at the smoke shop, but the offender is nowhere to be found. Reports from multiple witnesses, pictures, and videos help the officer identify the offender and his partner and he gets an idea of what has transpired. Right now, I'm gonna have a call with the police, and then you will have a problem when you can meet with them. Get your shit off the table, and please leave. What shit? What shit? What shit's on the table? Is that yours? No, I ain't mine. They got this. Oh, okay. Do you have a loose purse? Are you fat as or what? Are you fat as Are you living at 2.5 million dollars? This one's funny. Do y'all just walk around and harass people? No, you're Hey, 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 hey. What do you do? All right, that's it. CCTV footage shows the male counterpart trying to intimidate the employee behind the counter who is asking them to leave. Instead of listening, his partner, a female, joins to continue harassing the employee. When another employee tries to intervene, that's when it all goes down. Come on, I'm gonna be with a suspect in front of the game, green room. Turn around. Turn around. I'm turning around. What's up? Oh, what did I do wrong? Oh, You're going to jail for battery. Why? You just punched somebody at that store. What do you mean, no, why? I didn't do nothing. Do they have video? No, I did not do that. Okay, that's, that's fine. Hey, seriously. I'll yeah, it is you. No, it's not me. Hey, seriously. Tell my, tell my girl. Yes, yeah, she just heard me. No, don't, don't, don't. Can you give me the information, I'll give you please? some money, seriously. I, I don't need money, okay? I they they want to press charges. You went over there and you punched a guy. 
Wait, no, I did not punch anybody. I saw the video. You want to see the, no. the video yourself? No, I did not punch anybody. He's going to go to anybody. jail. We only have one jail out here. It's uh, the Monroe County Detention Monroe. Center. I did not punch nobody. All right, buddy. No, Do seriously. Last time I went to one. Can you take me out there with you? Huh? Do I have to meet you out there? No. Can you take me with I you? I did not do that. I Seriously, this the, is, the, is different the the a different guy. It's a different guy. No. No? Do I have to meet you out there then? No, you don't have to. Um, well, I, I'm gonna most likely, out. he'll have first appearance tomorrow morning. We don't have time. I'm going to jail in the morning. Ma'am, he punched somebody. Okay, no, he I committed a crime. Anybody. I did not punch anybody. Okay, okay. you can say that all you want, happened. okay? I just no, saw the I'm, video myself. I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. Let me talk. Okay, calm. I did not do that. I okay, not do that. I, I saw the video myself. Man. Okay, where can I meet you? I'm sorry. Um, you can I'm go. Sorry, it's sorry. 5501 College Road. We're you have your ID on you? No, I do not. We're just on vacation, babe. I get that, but dude, you messed up. You, no, I, I was okay, wrong. You, you so, where do you I want to be? Drinking. Drinking. Okay, but it doesn't make it okay if you punch somebody. Can I talk to the guy? I did not punch somebody. I did not know. 5501 College Road. Okay, so take over. If you want to, but what he's, not gonna, he's, not, he's not going to get out today. Uh, Why? What do you have to say? Do you say he has no bond? Correct. Why? Why? What do I do? It's not, it's not up to me. It's not up to me. You brought the ticket. Do. No, the person wants to press charge. The person got punched. Can wants I to press charge. Where? I did not press charge. Okay, then don't go back in there. Okay, they don't no, want I you back in there either. Okay, so please don't get in trouble. Don't get in trouble. Honey, honey. Unfortunately for the couple, the officer spots them down the road, not very far from the shop, and he goes after them. Immediately, the man is placed in handcuffs. The employee has decided to press charges, so there's no chance of getting the man released on bail. Their actions show clearly that they don't see a big deal in what the man did and are more concerned with when they can get bail. A decision just now. No, I will forgive him. I will forgive okay. you. It might be in the room. We're from let Iowa, him, so we're flying on a plane. I'm we definitely have an ID. Babe. Can I bring okay. it back to you? Can I please say sorry? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can I say I'm sorry? Can I bring okay. it back to you? Can I, can, I can I say I'm sorry? Oh. Please. Please. Let me say I'm sorry. Hey, babe. I'll talk to you. It's guy. better off if you don't fucking speak because anything you say is no. negative. I have video. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. I didn't You're still that. wearing the same thing that he was wearing just now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, come on. Can we do a bond post, please? It's not up to us. Who, who is it up to? Because I'll talk to them. The state. I didn't do the state. Okay. I didn't do that. The state don't press charges that quick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can I say sorry to the guy and see if he release me? Please, no. please, please. Come can on. I talk Walk. to him, bond? I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing, huh? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't put us in. Can I say sorry to anybody? Please. It's not going to change anything. I already asked him to say he wants to press charges. No, no, seriously. Yeah. With the reality of their situation dawning on them, the man asks to apologize to the employee he struck. But it's too late now. His fate is in the hands of the state. You can have whatever you want. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to fuck up. I told you. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're a nice dude and everything, but you made a bad decision. I today. know. I know. I did. I did. I'm sorry. Okay. I've been respectful the whole time. Yeah, I, I haven't you manhandled been, you. Yeah, I haven't done anything wrong. No, you have, you. you've been very nice. I'm sorry. If I fucking... I'm sorry. <laughs> and it was up to him. You wanted to press charges for getting hit, so. No, I didn't hit him, dude. Buddy, I saw the video. That's video. I didn't hit him. I didn't hit him. I didn't hit him. You sure did. I was. He was fucking. He, he threatened me. He threatened me. Because you, you called the. the well, he the, threatened the, the person me. that was working. You called her fat, and they told no, you to leave. No, he threatened me. Come on, he watch your step. Me. I was threatened, and I was scared to retaliate. Watch your head. I was, I, I was scared for my own Come shit. On. Yeah, he just did. She, uh, got the, uh, she got the bracelet, right? Yes, the bracelet and your uh, expensive watch. In a burst of emotions, the man goes from apologizing to denying his crime to accusing the employee of threatening him. He seems not to realize that the officer has seen the footage from the shop. Yeah, motherfucker! Can you talk now? You fucking...
The man becomes increasingly erratic as the officer transports him to jail, and he even goes as far as threatening the officers. For the couple, their short vacation has ended rather badly due to unruly behavior. The man gets charged with resisting arrest, battery, and crimes against another person. If there's one thing you will find in common with these offenders is trying to tell the cops they don't have the right to do their job. But our next couple soon finds out that the cops in fact do. It's the 11th of September, 2022, and officers receive a 911 call describing a suspicious purchase attempt at a local Apple store. The customer had tried to purchase an Apple merchandise, but his bank details were false and the payment was denied. Suspecting foul play, the officers decide to trail the customer, only to find that he's driving without a seatbelt on. What's up, man? Police department. Okay, I'm not going nowhere. You got a driver's license? What? You got a driver's license on you? Not with me in the car. Okay. You want to give my partner your name? What? Give my partner your name? This is my girlfriend, bro. All right, well, give she can wait. Friend. You got you got ID on you? No, not with me. Where's it at? At home. It's at home? Yeah. Okay. All right, you said this is your girlfriend right here? Yeah, uh, what did y'all pull me over for? Oh, here, jump on out. We'll talk to you so you can be by your girlfriend and stuff. Okay, what are y'all pulling me over for? Because you weren't wearing your seatbelt and you're on yes, your cell phone. Yes, I was wearing and my seatbelt. And you're on your cell phone. I was phone. not on my cell phone. I'm using right. GPS. Okay. All right. I was not on my cell phone. Well, like I said, man, I'll talk to you about it out here, okay? What am I You want to hang out with your girlfriend or not? Place? I'm saying, what am I I'm asking you to get out of the car now. I just told you why. No, you did not. I did, dude. You didn't? I did, 100%. When did I not have my seatbelt on? When I was next to you in a I just took my seatbelt off when you just pulled up. You when you just pulled behind me. I, I don't want to argue. I, I'm not saying I'm going to write you a ticket or anything about I'm that. I'm telling you why. I just told you why. First I'm, place, officer. I just told you why I'm stopping you. That's all. For what? I that's told you why. Because I could ask you to. Ohio. Shot step out of the car. We're Shot getting step out of the car. Illinois. Hey, stop putting the windows up. Stop. 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 Right now. Step out of the car. You're gonna, I'm going to. I'm going to break your window, Rashawn. I'm going to break your window. I'm going to break your window. Step on out. I'm gonna break your officers pull the driver over for questioning, but instantly get pushed back from the male. They notice the female coming towards them who he confirms is his girlfriend. His agitated retorts make the officers think that there must be something more going on, but he won't step out of the vehicle. Okay, step out of the car. Why are, you, why are you doing this, man? Dude, why, why are you making us go through that? This, this is y'all. This is going to be your girlfriend's car. She's going to break the window. The car. Come over here. Doing. I'm not doing Stop. nothing. Stop. Dude, okay. No, I'm Stop. not Stop. doing okay. anything. Okay. I'm not doing anything. Listen. Okay, your car smells like weed. I can see roaches. No, it does car. not smell like weed. I, I smoked see. this morning, and okay, weed is not I, illegal. Yes, but you can't smoke your inside your vehicle. What am I putting my hands behind my back? Right now, you're being detained. You're being detained. Put your hands behind your back. Now. What the fuck, bro? Come get my phone, bro. Bro, you overdoing right. it, bro. Step I'm not. Ma'am, step out of the vehicle. Hey, Ma'am, get out of the car. I'm doing nothing. I'm closing my car door. I can't close it. You're not doing anything. Okay. Bro, bro you're pushing me for what, bro? What the Stop. When the cops threaten to break the window, the girlfriend pleads with them not to. And finally, the man budged and steps out. His aggressive behavior has already put the officers on edge, and they are led to detain him so he does not try anything funny. You were touching me because okay. I didn't do nothing. Because right. I know what's going on. Yeah, I'll explain right here. Can you stay with me right here? Hey, look, Rashad, I, don't, I don't want down. you to scream. If you're gonna, if you're gonna scream and you're gonna throw your arms around, I'm gonna put you in handcuffs for, for my what? safety and your safety. I'm not, I'm, I'm not doing nothing I'm to you. I'm stepping. I'm continuously okay? stepping back. That's fine. I'm just trying to see what's going on. Okay. Can I no, please have his no, phone? No, you cannot. Why can I have his phone? Because what's his phone doing? They're conducting an investigation. If you continue. Okay. Can I know what's going on with him though? What you're is not listening to can me. You speak there. I'm steady. Ask. Ain't nobody saying shit to me. Y'all arrest him. Okay, then I can I know listen what's to going me. on with them? No. Ain't nobody telling me I will nothing. let you know when I then know. speak. Let me know. I just told you I showed up okay, on scene. Okay, then. Who no. I can tell? Stop. I'm not doing Stop. nothing. Stop. Why are you holding Stop. me? Stop. 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 The man's girlfriend does not make matters easier, as she immediately gets hysterical and won't pay attention to the officer handling her. Her aggressive behavior and shouting ends with her being put into handcuffs. Yeah. I'm trying to call her to Dude, Just back. keep giving me some light. Yeah, she kept trying to like go in the car and put more the time. Right. Okay. So we got BX uh, well, point. Uh, uh, another car, another car, over at the B P E. Twelve ninety two. 
BP XE. Dude, it's a different upper and a different lower. During their search, the cops find a gun in the vehicle, and they can smell the scent of marijuana, which makes his current possession unlawful. Yes, and I will explain, him say that's my I, girlfriend. I will explain to you what's going on, okay? Because now I have the full story, but when you try to go past me and try to get to the officers while they're... I didn't try to get to, to the officers. Listen I tried to, to close talking. my car door. When, so you try to get, when you try to walk up on a traffic stop while they're in the middle of an investigation. That's my boyfriend. I don't know what's going on. I see okay. his car pull up to my suite can, right here and I've seen lights and ran me, out here. Listen to me. They conducted a traffic stop. When they walked up to the vehicle, they could see cannabis in plain sight. The car smells like weed. Clearly somebody's been smoking in it. You can't smoke in a vehicle. It's like having open alcohol. When they asked him to step out, he didn't want to step out. I heard him ask why he had to step out. I was right here. I can't. As soon as I see lights, I ran out here. Because they're search based on the odor and visual observances of cannabis. When you come onto the scene, it's fine if you want to stand on the corner. And I you, didn't listen, walk up listen. close to him. I was right here. When I, was I got up here, you were door. closing the door. Because I, I tried to close the door. I didn't know if y'all said y'all had to search the car. I would say, okay. Okay. But, but nobody said that. I kept asking what's going on. I said, that's my boyfriend. I'm trying to see what's going on with him. You didn't make it no better. You still, still handcuffed not letting me, me for talk what? To you. You're still not letting me talk to you. You immediately became irate and tried to walk. Because you steady to asking me, you not giving me trying, what I'm trying to see. I'm trying to explain you not to you what's going on. With the man secured, the cops try to handle the situation with the girlfriend, who continues to argue with the police officers. When the officers see that she will not cooperate or pay attention to them, they decide to arrest her along with him. With aggravated unlawful use of weapon, possession of controlled substances. Resisting arrest, obstruction of ID and seatbelt violation. The female was charged with resisting arrest. YouTube. Th the two are transported to the station and the male is charged with possession of controlled substances, resisting arrest, aggravated unlawful use of weapon and a seatbelt violation. The female was charged with resisting arrest. From walking in on an arrest to getting arrested, talk about bad timing. The next incident is not so different when a woman reports her friends only to end up getting arrested herself. On July 19, 2022, officers are called regarding a case of domestic battery taking place at a hotel. The call explained that a man and woman had been fighting throughout the day, and their fight had also gotten physical. On arriving at the scene, the police could find the woman had a bloody nose, and the hotel room was covered in blood stains as well. Here's how things went down when the police arrived. No, the male went first and then the female. And now I have all my stuff in the room, and I call the ambulance to call to try and get my own room today, but there's, I have video recording of they were beating the shit out of each other. I'm like, I want to call the cops to get you help, because she's dripping blood out of her nose from him hitting her. I don't know what I'll my head. It shows how much I pay attention to males. No offense. They're talking to the receptionist in the desk. Like, they've called the room and stuff. There's blood all over it. Oh, Maybe it's a place. I'm trying to help her. Should I talk to I don't know what I got. I haven't watched it over. I have no other and shit, but... The police spent some time talking to the friend, Alexis, who was staying with the couple and was a witness to everything that went down. According to her, she had come to get her things from the room when she walked in on the fighting couple. It was when she saw the bleeding wife and the state of the room that she decided they needed to call the cops. Got a big problem going on right now. This girl right here, she came here, was supposed to be just for a night. Hi, Brittany. I'm Officer Stolzman. You have any weapons on you? No, ma'am. But you're injured, right? No, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, well, your nose looks a little hurt, doesn't no, it? No, I'm fine. Wait, don't walk away. No, I'm not walking away. You want to walk away from her? You want her to step away for a little bit? Yeah. Are you, okay, can you just stay? I'm, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I'm okay. I'm fine. Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. Can I get you some um, medical? No, ma'am, I'm okay. I don't need medical. I know, but your nose looks hurt, doesn't it? No, it's fine. Because I sure as fuck would no, need I'm medical, fine. right? No, I'm fine. For real, I just don't want to be around her. You don't want to be around her? No. Can you tell me what happened? It was like a whole ass situation, and I don't want to talk about it. Okay, do you want her to walk away? Okay, ma'am, can you go into Super 8 lobby? Anyway. Just sit, sit still, we'll be with you, okay? He has your information, we'll, we'll, we'll be with you, okay? Yeah, fine. Okay, we'll talk. Thank you. Okay, so she's walking away. Here's what the woman told the officer. So, 
Is that your boyfriend over there? What's his name? Brandon? Brian? Uh, Adam. Adam? Yeah. I was close, right? Yeah. No, I wasn't close at all. You could tell me the uh, truth here. Um, okay, so you and Adam are dating, in a dating relationship, yeah, right? And yeah. Alexis has been staying with you? No. She just started staying like a just night a ago. Days. Yeah, that's what she said. When the officer tries to approach the wife, her attitude towards her friend is suspicious. The officer notices she is keeping a distance from her friend and she repeating that she is fine even though the cut on her nose looks pretty bad. The officer asks the friend to excuse them, hoping to get more information out of Brittany, the wife. An issue when I told her that like she had to leave and everything, and that's why it became a big issue today. Because like, I told her how she had to leave. Yeah. Which is understandable, right? That's your place, you're paying. You and Adam are paying for it, right? I didn't know she was, like, doing bad off, man. Yeah, she's not. That's what she was saying. Yeah, I didn't know. And so, you guys got into, you know, um, Alexis got into a little argument. Yeah. Yeah? That's okay. That's normal, right? You guys have been friends for so long. It's all good. <clears throat> it's just that we have, me and my husband have our own space, and she's not supposed to be there and everything and i can't help her you know what yeah, I, mean? I can't yeah. help my friend well you're trying to help you and adam and it's a lot to take well, in another yeah, person we're like, right we're, we're doing our own thing and everything we're yeah we're good. living our life and everything that's what husband, husband and wife does but like Absolutely. i can't deal with her i can't deal with that okay that's understandable that's totally I understandable can't, it's, i can't deal with it okay you know you don't have to right uh, it's your place right thank you uh -huh. Of course. Um, but for today. Thank you. Of course. It's okay. You could, because, I know it's emotional. Because, like, I tried to tell her nice. I tried to tell her nice. She's not, she can't be there. She's not supposed to be there. Yeah. And I'll talk to her, too, okay? Um, I think she's struggling with herself. But, I, but that's, I know she is. Yeah, but that's not your job, right? It's, I can't feel bad. Okay. I can't feel bad for her. Of course. Yeah, of course. Um, what's wrong? It just bothers me. Okay, she's inside. You know, it's just you and I, right? So you can tell me the truth. Um, okay. So I just want to talk to you about what what happened though today. What do you mean, what happened? Well, there's blood on you. She was upset and believed that her friend didn't belong with them. Okay. I was just trying to be, I was just trying to be nice and say that, like, oh, you can't, there's no, there's no problem, ma'am. I just can't have her here with us. Okay. We'll, we'll take care of that. Let me tell you something. I know I look up. I know. And I'm upset. So yeah. You don't gotta tell me. I'm not gonna tell you that. Well, you were gonna tell me something. You said. I was gonna tell you something. But I care no, about you. I just, okay. Oh, wait, hold on. I can't understand tell you. what you're saying. And I, I respect the police, man. I know. I, you, you know what? It sounds like you do. And I respect you. For okay. Real. Brittany, you've been awesome to me. And I'm gonna be awesome to you, right? Um, but it sounds like, it looks like you got some sun, you got that nice burn. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So, but I just still, you know, I'm worried about you. No, I'm okay. Teary-eyed and emotional, Brittany admits to asking her friend to leave. Since she couldn't cater for her as well as her family, she continues to deflect each time the injury to her nose is mentioned and refuses to say anything about the matter, focusing only on her friend and their now strained relationship. I don't know what my wife told you, but it started about three, four days ago. Me and my wife was laying in bed. Allie had called my wife, asked my wife where she was at. My wife sat here and said, we're staying at the Crystal Lake Super 8. Allie's like, what's Super 8? She goes, the one in Crystal Lake. Obviously, this is the only one. Well, Allie's like, well, I'm going to call you back in a few minutes. Next thing we know, about 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night, Allie shows up with all her stuff. My wife is not that type of cold-hearted person that's have someone sleep outside. So my wife sat here and told her, Allie, you can stay tonight tonight, but tomorrow morning, you gotta go. Okay. The next morning came, we went, me and my wife, we walked up to 7-Eleven, but before we went, my wife was like, Allie, we're going up to 7-Eleven to get cigarettes, to get something to drink with a food stamp card. When we come back, we need to make other arrangements. Why, did you call the police today or? I did. You did? So what, yeah, what was- They were hitting, like, each other. And so, like, two days, it's been going on three days now, my wife's been telling me she's gotta go. You gotta go, mm -hmm. you gotta go. You're causing drama, you gotta go. Like, me and Adam's doing really good. We're trying to get her shit together. I walked over there, I was sitting down behind the semi-truck over there on the wall. Next thing I know, my wife calls me and says, babe, I don't know what to do right now. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, I just told Allie to leave once again. 
and she's on the phone calling the cops. She won't leave the room. The domestic dispute. Yeah. So Wait, Campbell, come here. I'm gonna tell him what happened. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna talk to him real quick, okay? Shortly after, the medics arrived. You know what I mean? And like, my wife had plans. We was gonna go up to the beach. Like, we didn't know about that beach right there. And we found yeah. out that they got grills and stuff. So we was gonna go up there and cook on the grill, but the whole entire time we been trying to get her to go and she won't leave. Yeah, so I asked the paramedics to come here. Um, they're gonna check both of you out, right? The next person interviewed is the man, Brittany's husband. He also appears battered and bruised, but he also does not mention anything about the fight, but talks about the issue with having Alexis leave their hotel room. He claimed that when asked to leave that morning, Alexis had refused and threatened to call the police on them. And that was the domestic violence call that brought the officers in. Oh, All right, yeah, you're, okay. being, you're being, detained. being detained. Sit for down, what? please. Sit down, please. I'm being detained I'm not going to argue with you. Just no, sit down, I'm asking please. you what I'm being detained for. You don't even know. We're investigating a crime that's going on. A crime that's what? Going, what crime? Clearly a crime happened here. A crime? No, no, I'm asking you what crime has gone on because I want to go up and get something to drink. Okay. Like, straight up. Please, please just grab a seat. No, straight up. Like, I'm, I'm please, trying. Please just... Shut the f up. I'm not talking to you. I want to know why I'm being detained. He doesn't know. And he said because there's a, there's a crime going on. So I'm asking, what crime is going on? That I can't go up and get my own drink. Why are you detaining me? Rants, okay? No, you're not detaining. All right, sir. I'm husband you back. I'm not arguing with you. You're done. You're under arrest. For what, sir? Got some cuffs, please. For what, sir? Not arguing with you. I'm not arguing with you either. I was asking if I could go to my room and get a drink. The answer is no. After hearing all sides of the story and watching the recording Alexis has made. The police decide to detain the couple for battery. Although they didn't admit to fighting, the evidence proves that they did. You ready? Get him off. Stop being stupid. Get your ass out. Come on. Stop being don't stupid. talk to me like stop that. Stop, stop being stupid. Don't nah, be, man. Don't, don't bullshit. Be stupid. Don't be stupid. Come on. That's bullshit. Come on. Hey, relax. It's over. Relax. No, it's bullshit. It's over. It's over. It's over. Relax. Feet apart, boss. Anything on it's gonna hurt me? Can I make sure relax, you get my wallet relax. and my phone? No, because I, you don't. You hear her side, but you don't know what the relax. that relax. did. The man becomes agitated and begins yelling at the wife's friend and blaming her for what was happening. But it doesn't end there. So what do I have to do? No, to not. like become a cop? Go to police academy? Yeah. Um, start applying to like police departments. Yeah. They pay for the academy. Okay. So, do you do you have your phone on you or no? Oh, he just I took it. He has it. Um, so, I recommend going to the website. It's called thebluelinecom Okay. Okay. Thebluelinecom Go to that, and there's gonna be a bunch of cities in the state of Illinois. Yeah. Um, and entry level. Click on that, and you'll see all the qualifications that you'll need. Okay. She's an only man. What? Did you say anything about me? No, no. Just let her know I love her. Okay. Please, can, yeah, yeah. Please, please hey, let you know, her know I will. Right? Let her know I love her, man, and don't yeah. leave me. Okay. You know I'll do that for you. Don't say you're going to do it not do it. Please. Oh, hey, you know I'll do it. Alexis was also put under arrest since she was refusing to leave the hotel room, even after the officer's repeated request. Once Alexis leaves, I understand that something's been paid and everything else. I understand Alexis has no place to go. However, Alexis needs to leave. If she does not leave, she's being trespassed. She will be arrested for trespass. I don't want to arrest her. I don't want to cause any more issues for her. I understand she has no place to go. We can maybe help her drive her somewhere. It's warm weather. She can wait outside. You could drive she me somewhere. She cannot stay. I guess. And you guys said no. Where would you have to go? We're not gonna drive you to like McCann. We could drive you locally somewhere. You know, we could drive to train station. Can sit there. I have more. I have a train station. Alexis, the, the issue is that. You got cooperative? Ow, that hurts. Well, stop you resisting. Let go. I'm not resisting. Yes, you let you go are. on me. No, no I'm not. I'm relaxed. No, you're not. You're f hurting me. Dude. No one is. All we want you to just stay still. Okay, let stay go on still. me. No, you're hurting me. Okay. Get off of the whatever the f he's on. Alright. We're shaking, dude. Alright, we're good. Come on. Since the couple no longer want Alexis in their room, the officers have an obligation to make sure she leaves. But she refuses to budge. In the end, she also gets arrested and charged with trespassing. 
Things might have turned out differently for the couple if only Alexis had left, but we will never know. Next up, a wife calls the cops to report her husband. Let's find out why. It's the 22nd of March, and police show up to the house of a woman who has placed a call to report her husband. The officers have been over to the house a couple of times, and the consensus was that the woman would move out. The request is unclear, but the officers stick around to find out what is going on. No, the girls are in bed. <laughs> Did you call 911? Yes. What's going on? Well, my husband's gone now. Was he driving? A what, what do you do? What happened tonight? You guys getting an argument or what? We're just fighting. Again? I just don't know what to do anymore. Yeah. I can't really leave because... I know we, we talked before a few months ago and I thought you were moving out. Every time I try to leave, he threatens to take my kids. But when I try to leave, he's like, oh, well, if you leave or go out of state or whatever, like, I'm going to get a lawyer and you're going to have no house and no car and none of this, like, mm -hmm. so I can't leave. What happened tonight? Did anything get physical or was it just you guys yelling at each other? It's not really physical, it's just yelling. So why do you call 911? Because of him. wait, I'm 3 seven. I don't trust him. You don't trust him? Does he still work at the sheriff's office? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> threatening me physically, uh -huh. but he's threatening to me, take the like, kids. with taking the kids, yeah. putting me in jail, like doing all this stuff. Putting I you want, in jail? I just want to be left alone. Yeah. Has he been drinking or anything tonight? No. No? <clears throat> he actually just got back from getting us, like, food for dinner and stuff like that, but, like... It's like he doesn't want to... The police show up to find the woman on the phone, alone in the house. She seems unstable and her speech is slurred when she talks. There does not seem to be a concrete reason for the call. Hi there, this is uh, Deputy Puckett from Logan County Sheriff's Office. Is this Dakota? Hi, right, man. How you doing tonight? I'm not doing the best. Yeah, so... Uh, now, she called 911. I, I think you know that, right? Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to call and get your side of the story, so... Uh, she, yeah, she's not making any verbal. allegations like that. It's just a verbal argument. This is something we're putting going through. She's got an issue with alcohol, being an alcoholic. We're trying to get her help. I'm trying to work with her. Um, some days I stay at the house, some days I stay at my parents' house. Yeah. It's an thing because I don't want her to lose her kid, but the way that she's going, she's going, dude. I don't want her self-destruct. I've been with her for nine years. I love her. She's alive. You know, we've been together since high school. So, like, I'm trying to help her. Yeah. This is also something I've been communicating with because every time you guys come out there, I have to tell my sergeant, I tell my lieutenant, my captain, my chief, my city sheriff. Everyone already in my work knows what's going on. This is what I've been instructed to do by my chief, and I've talked to him many yeah. times on. You don't call the, you don't call the deputy after the house. Yeah. Are you, uh, are you on your way back here? Yeah, do I have to come back? Because I want I to go back to my parents' house, away from her, and just separate for the night. Yeah. Did, did you talk to another deputy or? I just talked to Sergeant Dale on the phone. Okay, and he he told you to come back here. Yeah, he was. Um, he took my wife's phone and told me I need to come back here, but. Okay. Well, if the sergeant's saying that, then you should probably just stop by for a minute and. Uh, you know, you could probably leave. Do I need to go? Am I going to be taken back to your office, or are we just talking? I need to know what's going on. Yeah, you're not being taken back to the office, as far as I know. I mean, there's no reason for that, so... The officer called to hear the husband's side of the story, and what he hears is a total opposite of what the wife says. But the husband has to show up, so they can figure out how to solve the problem. What started all this shit tonight? Uh, because she's, like, not off, because she's not alcoholic, and we'll be dealing with that, and... Well, she's not drunk tonight. Well, you don't smell alcohol, but that's because she drinks mouthwash. Okay. And I've been with her nine years, and I know she's been drinking, and she already admitted to me today that she's been drinking mouthwash. So, you know, it's it's hard because, like, I'm trying to work with her. I just told her, like, you're supposed to be not doing Hello. it so that... Because the discussion that we had before, she's going to get a Vivitrol shot, so she's not supposed to be doing this because you can't get the Vivitrol shot. Hello. If you the alcohol, if you have alcohol in your system, so I was upset with her because that was a plan for us to do it in the morning. I'm going to clear here and start. When the husband shows up, he finally explains in detail what has been going on and how his wife is dealing with alcoholism and refuses the help he is trying to give. She even drinks mouthwash to get a high. 
He admits to wanting a separation and does not trust his wife with his kids if he does. They go drive around, cool off for a little while. He's not back. doing that though. You believe him, but you don't know him. We, listen, we're we can't, to, he's not doing that. We're we can't to force him to come back inside the house. You're not working both sides because he's going to take them and just leave. He's never going to come back. I don't ever get a break. Ever. You're not making any sense. sense. Yeah. I am, actually. No, if you understood, you would. I take care of the kids 24-7. Okay. I go to work. I work from she, 3 These kids aren't staying with her tonight. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> so, she, she's too drunk. I can't let the kids stay with her tonight. There's no way. So, either you take the kids or you, you need to go back inside. Right, I'll stay in the bedroom. So, hey, I, and, and, I'm, I'm so sorry about the way she's talking to you guys. We're okay. Yeah, she, whatever whatever she drank, is, I can smell the mouthwash now, but yeah. she's getting drunker as it goes. So, oh, she yeah. must have down the whole bunch before we got here. Yeah, that's, that's how she does it. She'll get like the little ones that she's in as fast as she can, and then it slowly creeps in, and I can tell. Because yeah. she was fine, really, when I left. But I touched it yesterday, and she said she didn't have any more. I went to get food, and I came back. I could tell it was creeping in, and I'm like, are you shitting me? Yeah. And that's what started all this, and that's why if I you need to take the, If you need to take the kids, you need to do it to protect you and your kids. Like, I, I know you don't want to, but I would seriously consider that because... At this point, the intoxication from the mouthwash has set in, and woman is not making any sense. The officers determine that she cannot be left with her kids. If you could decide what we're going on. I don't want to be with my kids. Why are you being so mean? <laughs> Ma'am, ma you're not making any sense. You're still going to be with your kids. Yeah, okay? you, your kids your are kids. here. You said that you were going to take my kids. Further. I didn't say I was going to take your kids. Did you not just say that you were going to take my kids? No. 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 You, mi you misunderstood. That's, that's you're your... You're impaired, right? so you're... Seeing it and thinking things that didn't happen. So you're using cop to cop to like try and get away with it. The woman continues to yell, this time for her husband. Her erratic behavior and sudden switch is concerning. Stand up. You're under arrest. 35, you can cancel that 29. For what? For disorderly conduct. Persistent disorderly conduct. You're clear. Do you have shoes? No. Yeah, you're going to let them do this to me? I'm not about them, don't You're going to let them do this to me. I wasn't violent or anything. I didn't do anything. Are these your shoes right here? Do you want to put those on? They are my shoes. Okay. Do you want them on? Oh, Why are did you do these those, those are his. Those are his. Yeah, those are yeah, his. Yeah, I can wear his. In the end, for everyone's safety and peace of mind, the officers arrest the woman, and she is charged with persistent disorderly conduct. Clearly, this wife must be regretting her actions, but our next couple get into it with the police when they act like they think they are entitled to the road. On January 5, 2023, three officers responded to a call at a home, and they end up walking into some unexpected chaos. There was loud music coming from the home and disturbing the neighborhood. After knocking on the door for a while, the couple come to the door but refuse to cooperate or even turn down the music. Here's how things went down. Hello. What's going on? All right, can you guys turn down your music? It's really loud. Are you leave my property? We can't want you guys to turn down the music, we will. okay? We'll leave. All right, hold on. Are you guys able to just turn it down for the night? We will. Hello. Otherwise, if we keep getting calls, we're going to keep coming we back. We will, just leave. Okay. Hold on. Don't okay. leave. Are Don't you leave. able to turn down the music? Don't we leave. Will. We will. Oh, oh. Thank you. I got your bed on already. I got your bed. You want to go? I got a brighter light. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What's your hold name? On. Hold on, hold on. What's your name, Mr. Johnson? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You will go pretty low. Hold on, Step hold on. off the property, we will. Hold on, hold on. All right, so you guys just gonna keep the music down for the night, okay? Okay. Hey. Otherwise, if we keep getting calls, okay, we'll come back. Okay, I need you to come closer. Okay. I can't hear you. What's your badge number? Okay. We good here? It's on your alt. It's your primary. You gotta tell me your badge number. Okay, so are you guys gonna turn on the music? No, I'm I wanna good. know your badge number. 382. What's, What's your name? name? Officer Petcher. You will What's your name? What's your name? Mr. Flashlight, what's your name? The officers calmly ask the couple to turn down the music, but instead they proceed to waste the officers' time and even ask them to leave their property. 
most likely an attempt to get the officers to leave, but several people had made reports about the noise, so it was not going to end so easily. Yeah. Where, where's the other guy that was with you? Okay, if you don't keep the music where, down... Where's the other guy that was with hey, you? Hey, listen to me. If you don't keep your music down, no, the next I'm not time... talking about the music! Music! If Why you keep you playing your music real you? loud, you're gonna get a citation, okay? I wanna know that okay? you know what? Step to the back. I'm gonna get the other guy's name and badge number. Okay. No, you know what? No, you know what? Determined to prevent any extra problems, the officers explain slowly what they need the couple to do, but instead receive accusations of trespassing from the two. The officers leave, but it's not over yet. Are you guys gonna come armed? Because I got my computer carry. Are you guys gonna come armed? Are you guys gonna come armed? Because I got computer carry. Oh, do you? Is that? Are you uh, threatening me right now? Are you threatening me right now? Is that a threat right now? Is that a threat to a police officer right now? Is that a threat? Is that a threat? Is that a threat to an officer? Give me your badge number. Is that a threat to an officer? Give me your badge and name number. Is that a threat to an officer? Give me your badge and name number. What's your name and badge number? Is that a threat to an officer? Are you threatening a police officer? What's your name and badge number? Are you threatening a police officer? I got a FOIA card! I got a FOIA card! Acting as if possessed, the couple step out of their home to continue to aggravate the officers and a shouting match ensues. Detailing their felonies. Do I have to arrest you? You touched her, bro. No, she touched you me. Touched no, her, no, no, you touched her, bro. No, I got it on camera. You just no, no, no. You oh, back up. Back up. What the f***? What the f***? Back up. What the f***? What the f***? Back up. Back up. Back up. What the f*** are you guys doing? Stop. That's my girl. What the f***? 85, I got one fighting. What the f***? Why is she that way? What the f***? Fed up by their aggressive behavior, the officers are left with no choice but to arrest the two. Even while being detained, the couple do not stop behaving aggressively. The situation gets messy fast. The man alone is charged with felony and aggravated battery, and both are charged with misdemeanors and resisting and obstructing officers. Our last and final couple are fun lovers who get into trouble with the police for driving while intoxicated. On the 15th of November, 2023, officers respond to an open line 911 call, reporting what sounds like a domestic disturbance. They track the couple for a while until they find them in their car in a parking lot. Here's what happened next. I was tripping, I, I, I told her to come down. Okay. Hi, thank you. Uh, you mind stepping out here and talking to us? You want me to step out? Yeah, if you don't mind. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. Okay. What's going on, man? Somebody called 911 from the, from in here. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we've been tracking you for a while. Somebody dialed 911. How are I'm at? That feels like a joke because I just got here. No, I know. You you would drive all the way around and came back around over here. We'll be following you on your car. Okay. Somebody dialed 911. Yes, you know, I'm good. Do you have any ID on you? Yeah, I do. Can I, have, can I see it from you? Yeah. Can you explain why you called 911 today? I didn't call 911 today. Trying to figure out because vehicle matching your description, phone call, someone's phone dialed 911. It sounded like you need a little bit of help. It wasn't my phone for sure. What, what, what's, what's the what's the stoppage for? So we were listening to what sounded like a verbal domestic. From what they were hearing on that line, it didn't sound very good in the car. So can uh -huh. you explain to me what's happening? Um, not much. We just been kind of like hanging out. Did you see anything? Did I see anything? Yeah, so 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 in order for you to do a stop, do you have to see anything or You called 911. I didn't call nobody. There's a cell phone in there that's still actively on 911. So call Unless it. you just so, hung up. So so call it cuz I ain't calling nobody. Okay. Over. What's your what's your name? Raimundo. Raimundo? Yeah. What's what's your last name, Raimundo? See, that's how you gain my information. What's your last your name? Your car's like almost on fire. Okay. What happened to the car? Nope, nope, nope. You're gonna stay right here and talk huh? to me, okay? What happened to the car? I'm gonna. I'm no, gonna you're get... just gonna stay here and talk to me. No, I'm gonna. Get okay, the wait. Cops are... Can you wait? Yeah. We're, okay, so we're still investigating everything going on right now. So you're not yeah. gonna go in. The Interrogating the two, the officers can't seem to find out who put the call through to the police. 
But one thing is for sure, these two are intoxicated. Intoxicated, and we could probably pull up some stuff that shows that you were driving, right? So how? How? So because, because because I I got I got other medication or other stuff that, that well you're slurring your words pretty hard yeah yeah because your I, eyes got, are, I, I got you know, other uh, come on, okay I got, I, I got uh, uh, speech impediment so I I, I can't uh, like uh, talk oh. all the all the way like I I got uh, you know what I mean so what's going on with your car why is it steaming that much okay first of all this is my car hey you want to turn off the car. That just happened right now. That's funny. Can I ask what you're under the influence under? What did you just, take? Just a call. Okay, it seems like you one. might be under something else. No. Nothing else? Just alcohol? No. You no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yeah. I'm just going to get in here really quick, okay? Can you turn it off? Yeah. There's a poor logo in the center console. Is there? Yeah. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny that it all happens right now. So, what's your name? Raymundo what? Huh? Raymundo what? What's your name? Can I get uh, your badge number? Yeah, Chad Smith, 249. What's your name? Chad Smith, 249. Where you guys have a bunch of front, front fresh in damage. You're peeling as much. With the car going toast, it is clear they have been in an accident, and the two are seemingly unbothered by this. The officers can only keep interrogating them to get any answers. But talking to these two is like talking to a distracted child. They are too drunk. Okay. You have to end at, the, at this point now, we're gonna play. We're done playing games. Turn around. They're under arrest. Why, why are you grabbing me, man? I'm, I'm telling you, you're why under arrest. Why, why, why are you grabbing me? Why are you grabbing me? I'm not. I'm not. Why are you grabbing me, bro? Hey, why are you grabbing me? Stop. Stop resisting. Ow. For what? Man, why are you grabbing me, bro? Stop, Stop resisting. I'm. Hey, I'm. I'm trying to ask you what's going on. I will on. tell you here in just a second. Okay, then why, why won't you just ask me, bro? We're gonna go sit right here. Nope, nope, nope. We're sitting right here. We're sitting down. Ma'am, you're clearly extremely intoxicated. You need to sit down. For what? Just sit down here while we figure out everything, okay? Why are you arresting him for what? Because he was driving under the influence. I'm glad. Hey, grateful. Hey, thank you. God bless you. Okay. God bless you. Hey, hey face yeah. that way. Face, hey, hey, face hey. that way. All right. Hey, thank you for Hi. the camera that you have in your. Thank you for the camera. You know what happened? Face that, that way. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Stop resisting. I'm not resisting. Hey, am I pulling back? Am I pulling back? Hey, hey, look. I hope you know your lies, right? Because look, I asked you, what am I being arrested for? You said DUI. nothing. Do you why? Do you why? Okay, yes. then, then, then breathalyze me. Do everything. Look, besides that, I can see you. I can see in no, no disrespect, but motherfucker, you're going to respect me. Because look, I know, well, I, really? I, know, I know, look, I know everything about here. Serious. Okay. Am I right now? I got nothing wrong. I got nothing wrong. I got nothing wrong. Hey, look, you're going to check me, check my pack, bucket, check whatever you have to do. I am. As the man continues to refuse to tell the officers his name, he gets arrested, but not without him resisting as expected. No, nope. stop, ma'am. Stop. You're sitting down. We're not doing this. I gave you a chance to sit stop. down. Stop. You're not running to the car. You're just going to sit out. Sit down. Do not touch me, please. Why? She's trying to run over the car. No, I'm not. Sit down. No, but you. Okay, you I'm have not no going to force you to hang around. Hey, you have I no legal rights. Relax. I need you to relax. You have no legal relax. rights. We just want to detain Yeah, she's just detain her. Don't fucking touch me. You're going to go back and go to the ground. You need to relax. You're going to hurt me. Then relax. You know, do you have any right to detain me like this? The woman, whose actions show that she is heavily intoxicated, starts to struggle with the officers and only ends up in handcuffs as well. The two are detained and the man is charged with a DUI and involuntary committal. The female received no charges and had to be taken away in a stretcher.